everyone watching and welcome on today's video we are going to be doing a Shein nail challenge so in this challenge everything that I use in this video has to be from Shein but there is going to be an exception because Shein does not carry like nail polish or top coats or any of that we are gonna like be able to use top coat and base coat um so yeah so recently I have shopped on Shein for a video my Shein nail haul video and I got a ton of Shein nail supplies and like nail art so for example this case um, I have a ton of Shein nail art in here um, not all of it is Shein nail art but like most of it is so I fill this entire case up with just a bunch of Shein nail art and some other stuff and I also have like I'm not taking everything out I just took out some things I also have this like container of just a bunch of Shein nail glitters I think it's like 48 in here I also have this container which is not all Shein nail glitter only like six glitters in here are Shein nail glitters but there are some in here so I'm super duper excited to get into this video I also have like some press-ons that I got from Shein so these Shein nails that I got um, I got these a long time ago, like in my first Shein nail haul video is when I got these and they're like, there's like nothing left in here. Like, there's like nothing left, but I can't use any other press-ons, so I decided to just like dig in there and see what I could find. I found some sizes that fit. Ooh it's so bright so i found some sizes that might work i still need to find a pointer finger but we'll get into that and i also found this little container right here filled with a bunch of shein nail like full cover nail tips that fell out one day i remember like all these nail tips fell out and i just put them in here because i didn't feel like sorting them back into their container so i gotta find one that fits my pointer finger or i can just find one that's pretty close and then i'll just shape it as close as possible so let's find it okay so it looks like we found a nail that fits pretty close um, definitely does need a little bit of shaping around the cuticles so it can fit better but for now we found something that fits so we can now get into it usually before these videos I like plan out my sets and I plan out what I want to do but I literally have no idea all I know is that I'm gonna be using these full cover tips um, so for everything else like the design that I want to do I have zero idea so let's just like dive straight into it so i am going to file the top of these nails just to get that little tab off oh and by the way the file that i'm using is from shein Okay, so we are going to be using a press-on stand for this video, and I think that we're going to be doing encapsulations, I think, so we're just going to turn these all, like put these all on upside down. Okay, so I think we're gonna dig into here and see some of this glitter that I got from Shein. So I'm gonna pick out the glitters that I got from Shein because I can still remember. Um, these are the six glitters that got that I got in the Shein glitter pack. So we can pick from these glitters. And uh, I think when I thought of this design, which I didn't really think of a design at all, I just like thought of encapsulating glitter, and the glitter that I thought of encapsulating is this glitter, but now that I'm looking at it, I really want to use this glitter. I feel like this would be gorgeous. So let's see, I think we're gonna maybe 
Mm, I think we're gonna use this one, it's super pretty. So let's use that one. And we can maybe do something with this one as well. Okay, so I think I might use some hearts. So I think I might also use some of these that I got from Shein, everything that you're seeing I got from Shein. So I think I might use the white hearts from in here and maybe even the pink hearts. I actually don't think the pink hearts go with this shade of pink. So I might use the white hearts from in here and let's see. Uh, I think these could go nice. We can be like a super cute like heart set. Let's see if the silver ones look good. I don't want it to be too many um, different colors, so let's see. Or I can go for a light pink. Oh, I don't like how that looks. This pink matches a lot better with this glitter, so I think that's super pretty. We could use this. Um, okay, I'm going to take out these two colors. Okay, so. I think for this, I want to make a glitter mix, and because we can use base coat, the exceptions are base coat and top coat, I'm going to be using some base coat to create uh, a glitter mix. Um, I was just going to put the glitter in there, but that is going to be a bit more messy than just making a glitter mix, so I'm like all out of base coat, so I gotta get a new one. Okay, now I have a new base coat out. We are going to... Oh, I can't even get it open. Okay, got it open. So now we are going to use these glitters to make ourselves a glitter mix. We're gonna use a dotting tool because this dotting tool is also from Shein. I'm doing so good in this challenge. And then we're also going to put some of these butterflies in here. And these butterflies are from the, um, what is it called? The heart thing, this butterflies from here. And we added some of the clear butterflies so you can't even see them, but they're in there. And I think we are also going to put some of these hearts in here. I picked out the white hearts from there, so we're just going to put some of them in here. Okay, so I think we're gonna put some of this glitter mix on the pointer finger. Oh, this is really pretty. I'm just gonna paint it on there. And we made our own glitter polish. This actually looks a lot better than I thought it would be, so I'm super excited. I don't know what to do next though, because I could paint all the nails with this, I would just make some more, but that would be kind of boring, so, well, it wouldn't be boring for the nails, so, like, it would be a lot damn pretty, but it would be boring in a short video, so I think I'm going to, I think I might, like, make these nails fully glitter.
Okay, so now that I have cured these nails, I love how they look. They look so freaking pretty. Okay, this doesn't even go there, but they look so cute. So I'm super excited. But for these two nails, I just think I'm gonna do a full glitter nail. Okay, this video has not taken that long to film, but my area is quite messy, so let's just continue so I can like clean up. I am now going to stick on these nails, and then we can stick on the heart charms. I'm loving how these are turning out though, they're super glittery, and I love glitter. I've been using glitter so much lately, and I am obsessed. I have these like sticky tabs from Shein. Like, a bunch of them so we could use that to stick on the nails but I don't think I want to use those today I think I'm going to use I have to find it okay this glue I got this glue a long time ago from one of the Shein um, press-on nails kits oh my gosh look at it is it crusty wait you see that why is it like that listen <laughs> I hope that this works today because this is the nail glue that we're gonna be using today so we are now going to stick these nails on. Okay, so because none of the techniques of me sticking the stuff on with Shein stuff is working, I'm gonna have to use some nail glue, I know, I know. But it's just like not sticking on well with any of the like Shein stick on tactics. Okay, so I finally stuck the nail on and now we are going to stick the rest of them on. It took me a lot longer than I would have wanted to put on all of these nails, but these nails I feel are like so short. I have not had like such short nails in a long time. Like usually I have like, like recently I've been doing a lot of like extra extra long nail sets and so it's so weird to just like have on this length. And like do during like my day to day life I usually just have like short nails honestly. I go for a short almond, but it's like really weird. <laughs> So I'm going to use some top coat to stick on this charm. I think I'm gonna put it on this one and the thumb. Okay, so I'm not gonna show you guys the nails yet, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I had a lot of fun filming this video and have a lot of Shein nail art, so definitely we'll be doing a part two. Comment down below if you guys want to see a part two. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, tell a friend. Subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Here are the end shots.
Thank you.